Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You gotta tell me exactly what she's like. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Figured we'd go hard in the ring since you're Team Raw and I'm Team SmackDown, but, uh, excuse me? Just because we both come from famous wrestling lineage doesn't mean we have anything in common. You're right. I'm better than you, both in the ring and out. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Soria wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Li overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. So they've made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? I love my aunt and she taught me a lot, but if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. All right, we'll see how management reacts. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. But if you're determined to make your own mark, you better have the performance out there to back it up. Go get changed, it's go time. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. The following is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bayley. Team Raw. The superstars from the red brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top. Well, if you're referring to the fact that Team SmackDown has a mystery partner, I think that's just good strategy.
The wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner. And their opponents, Evan Ray, Lynn Morgan, and Bianca Belair. Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. Hold on tight, we're about to witness one of the most anticipated Survivor Series matches in years. And one of the most anticipated debuts in years. This rookie superstar, legendary Hall of Fame aunt, Justine. Don't get your hopes up, Saxton. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here to blaze her own trail. Setting it up. <laughs> Boom! state of distress. Ripley has to stop struggling. A kick right to the midsection. This ought to be good. What power? Power of Bob. Well, wait a minute. Not done yet. Samoa drop. Kick to the midsection. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Riptide! Covered by Ripley! Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear. The WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance.